Italy. We come here all the time because so many fantastic friends here. And I want to say, if you're here in Vicenza, whether you're visiting friends at the base that's here, or you're just traveling around because it's a great city, I do recommend a great little bar, Pitanta, right here. It's very easy to find. Great, great little food, food at the lunch and great snacks and great type place for aperitivo. But really nice people as well. So definitely, definitely, definitely check out Pitanta if you're here in Vicenza. So we're right outside the river here. Chenza, we're going to walk into town. We're going to go show you some of the sites that are here, what you can see, and also talk about some of the experiences we've had here in Vicenza over the years because this is kind of like our home in Italy. Hey, Stuart, good to see you, buddy. Sorry, I'm trying to switch around so you have to look at my ugly face. So, over the years, I've spent, I've probably spent six months to a year of my life in this town visiting so many times. This is actually where I learned to speak Italian, I took classes here. Um, Lots of friends that are here. You'll see our guide, Asia. A guide. We've known Asia since before she was even born. Uh, her parents are some of my best friends ever, and we're here for their wedding. I, mean, I figure, you know, they're true Italians. They've been together for 23 years. It's probably finally time to get married, you know? <laughs> so you can see that. What's interesting, if you come here to Vicenza, Vicenza is near Venice. It's like a yeah, 40 minute train ride from Venice. And you see this river here. This river used to tie it to Venice, and it was actually, there's a port here, and there's a lot of uh, people from Vicenza over the years were actually uh, sailors. So the, the kind of like city dish, the most popular dish here in Vicenza is actually bacala alla vigitina, which is a codfish, but it's actually stockfish because it's not salted, it's like dried, I believe. And then they reinvigorate it. Eric B, my friend, I liked your video about all your problems with your flight this morning, my friend, going to Chicago. I know you got there eventually, so that's good. But the bacala um, is because all the sailors that were here, they were so used to eating that, that dried cod and the salted cod that they made their own dish here. And you have it, it's, it's kind of like a stewy version, kind of like a codfish stew or a stockfish stew, however you technically want to call it. And then you have it on polenta, which is like a cream corn kind of thing. Really nice. Oh, if you're ever going to be here, there's a great bus system here in Vicenza that'll take you all over. And of course, you can ride your bikes and all those kind of things. So, okay. they're very nice people. See, letting me go by, and I was like, it's all good. But this brick building here is the back of the Teatro Olimpico, which is probably one of the coolest. Um, historic buildings you can like theaters you can see because Andrea Palladio, Andrea Palladio which is probably the most influential architect in the last 500 years uh, in the world is actually from here and he uh, he helped design this theater and the inside of the theater is incredible because you look at it hold on, you look at it and you think it's marble but it's actually wood. And then they have these, the perspective they have, it looks like there's like a three or four block uh, view in the back, but how they did the perspective of it, it's actually just a normal kind of theater, but they, they had the perspective. It's so cool. We have videos on Vicenza that'll help you know what we're talking about. But one thing that's interesting is actually here, so I've been coming here since about 2006. And it's amazing how many more tourists come here than they did you know, five years ago or 10 years ago. It's one of the city museums you can go visit. Very, very nice, it's got a nice little collection of stuff. Lots of random art and historic pieces. <coughs> oh, sorry. No. But, uh... Hi, looking for... Hey guys. Hi. Ciao. Hello. Ciao, ciao. Hello. Hello, hey, what the hell? And so here you have your, uh, the, two, the local tourism office, they're actually very helpful in here is where you get your tickets to go to the Teatro Olimpico. See, they're going to go in and enjoy it. But you go in there. I don't have tickets right now to go in, but you go in and check it out. It is just, it's really incredible. Even if you're young or old, it's worth going to see. But I will say, if you have... Close. See, hey, Walter's World. Walter's World? You can write W-O-L-T-E-R-S. Questo grosso è là. It's like, oh yeah, conosco questo grosso bambino. Perfetto. Ciao. Buona giornata, ciao. Ciao. See, the people of Vicenza, they're awesome. So, and there's all kinds of cafes around here you can visit. Yeah. 
Um, that's one thing is like when you come to Italy, the people are going to talk to you no matter what. Either you speak Italian or not, they will communicate with you and you will be just fine. Oh, one little thing. Uh, let's look at a, at a bank here. Um, when you are going to some of the ATMs like in Rome and stuff, you might need to swipe your card before you go in. And if you don't have the right kind of card, it might not let you in. So get your cash during the day is my little advice for you. So you got the Portici, these little porticos here. You have that. A lot of places. We were actually in Bolzano yesterday walking around. And they have all kinds of porticos there. It's pretty famous. Jocelyn is all about the furniture here. You can check out. Now, Palladio, I believe one of his offices is actually just right here. I mean, I don't know if you, you can't actually go. I don't think you can go in because I think there's actually an architect that works in there now. Um, but all kinds of cool stuff, yeah. And what's cool is they have all these things under the Palladio 500, so it's 500th birthday. They have all this itinerary for him, so you can go and see all these buildings. And the Villa Rotunda is probably the most important building he made, because when you see that, you'll be like, oh, you can see how it inspired the White House. You can see how it inspired the Capitol building in the US. You can see how it just inspires so much architecture around the world. It's unbelievable. So if you see, does the shop close in the afternoon before we open it in the evening? Yes. A lot of them do. They'll close during the lunchtime and then they'll open up again from like 3.30 to 7.30. Um, and that all depends on where you are in Italy. Some places it's longer, some places it's shorter. But yes, it, it does happen. It's not a siesta, it's just a break because it's hot. And actually I'm here right now and we actually have a heat wave warning because uh, it's so hot here lately. So uh, if you're out and about, make sure you're keeping hydrated. Not just the spritz apparel because that's uh, that's what I was hydrating myself with earlier today, was the Spritz Aperol. Now, we've seen the Spritz Aperol all over the world now. It's huge, but it's actually from the Veneto region originally. And it's a bubble water, um, Prosecco, then this Aperol, which is like an orange liqueur, you put in there. But there's a lot of different versions of it. You can get it with Campari. You can have it just bubble water and uh, and the Prosecco. And that's a Lichio, they call it a clean one. And then you have... Uh, <laughs> Indicivo, which is like Campari and Apero, because you're not sure what you want. Then there's Select, which is popular in Venice, which is with Aperitivo, Aperitivo Select, which is another kind of liquor. So, cafes all around. Yes, yeah, too many people. I mean, it's a work day here today. Oh, you can see the tower from the Basilica. Fun fact the Basilica. In Vicenza, which we'll get to eventually, don't worry, actually has never been a church. Basilica just means building that people don't live in. And no one ever lived there. That's actually where they used to store the goods um, from the from the harbor, and it's, which was in the neighborhood called Barque. Um, and they would store them there. So, one of the churches here. So this is close to Palladio, which is like the main drag of the historic center. Obviously, you're not driving through here. You're walking through here. Um, sadly, I don't know where Liam and Jocelyn and Asia went because they were to get gelato. I need gelato, too. So if you're looking for the mayor's house or the mayor's office, if you're here, it's actually this building here on the left. You see the flags up there? I will be here. I will be here this weekend because my friend's getting married and I'm one of the witnesses. So hopefully my Italian is getting better. I've been back in Italy for a little over a week. It's starting to get back, but yesterday after a full day of Italian, my brain was about shutting down. What's cool here, Vicenza, you have all these little back roads and stuff, back things you can walk through. Oh, there's part of Basilica. But there's shopping here as well. You can do, and yeah, summer is open right now. You see this one's closed for a little bit. What I thought I'd do is walk down, walk around a little while, just show you kind of what's here. Because Vicenza has become quite 
an affluent community. I mean, it's always done rather well for itself. But there's a, ooh, I'll give you a little preview of the Basilica. I don't know, there actually has a museum in it right now. Yeah. Well, it has had a museum, but there's a museum in there. But uh, Vicenza actually has a U.S. base, actually has two U.S. bases. They just built a brand new big one. There's like 20,000 like, soldiers here. And what's interesting is when I first started coming here in 2006, I would see stuff about closing that base. We don't want the Americans here, blah, blah, blah. And now in 2022, being here, like tours around the city to get to know it better. And you really see that like, the city has appreciated that the, the U.S. base and the soldiers have really done a better job of um, getting done. Oh, sorry. That's the mayor's house, I believe. It's going to be somewhere down here. Of course, you know, you got to have a bed on because, you know, it's the 1980s and we live in Colorado. <laughs> no, but uh, it really, I think it really helped them through the economic crisis in their late, or like in 2009, 10, 11, 12, having those soldiers here because they were still spending their money. Hey, CK, good to see you. But what's funny is if you come here, like, this is going to sound weird, but for travelers, when you do long-term travel, sometimes you really miss your food from home. You know, sometimes, like, when I'm taught in, in Portugal, all the Italian students would go eat Italian food because they missed it. And when I was in, you know, when I was in Finland, the Americans would go to the McDonald's. I would go to Hesburgh, but, like, everyone is like, I miss home. I want something there. And so since there's so many soldiers... Actually, here at Vicenza, you have some, I mean, I would call this the capital of Tex masks and American barbecue in, in Italy. Because the soldiers there, they want, to have, they want to have their food from home. So out by the base, you have these barbecue places and Tex, uh, these Mexican places and Tex-Mex places out there. And it's funny because in Italy, you don't eat spaghetti with meatballs and there's no macaroni and cheese. But there, they will have those in the restaurants out by the base. So you can have it. So it's kind of funny. <laughs> it is kind of funny when, you, when you're out there. So sometimes you can do that. So if you ever like miss home, if you're from the U.S., you want to have some American food, come to Vicenza. They've got some great stuff. And even like normal places. We went to a place called the Prince of Wales yesterday. Had a burger. And I was like, damn, that was a good burger too. Like they do good stuff here. The people, and the people are super nice. So I can't complain. I just wish the couch show team had better luck. I don't know if they got debt relegated this year or not. They were like 18th out of 20 in the uh, in the city of Bay, like the second division, and usually like the bottom ones are the ones that go bye bye. So I'll have to ask and find out. But I don't know if I want to bring that up because if they did get relegated, locals usually don't like that. <laughs> but if you do go to a game here, um, their mascot is a cat because they used to call them Mandragati, the, the the people from Vicenza because when it was tough times, they would actually, uh, yeah, they would eat the cats. You know, during World Wars and stuff, when there was nothing else to eat, you know, they would do that. So here's some more ice cream for you. There are some plenty of ice cream places here. One word of warning I give you, if you're looking for a, a rip-off ice cream place in Italy, look and see what kind of flavors they have. If anything sounds like tutti frutti or bubble gum or something like that, it ain't legit. The old ones that have pistachio, lemon, you know, they have normal vanilla, but it doesn't have the really like crazy sounding flavors. So I just have a heads up for that. So let's go to the cathedral next. That's the outside. That's the outside gate to the city. I need to find Jocelyn and uh, Liam and Asia. So. We'll head back towards there, and I'll show you actually one of my favorite um, cheap places to eat when I'm here, because I actually bring students here. I brought students here a couple times actually, and uh, they were always asking, hey, what's a good lunch spot to get good Italian food, but really cheap and really affordable? I'm like, oh, the Getty's a great place, so we're going to go there. I'll show you where it is. <laughs> It's funny, uh, my buddy Gabe from Gabriel Traveler, he's a good dude, check out his videos. He does these walk around things, he, I was talking to him, he's like, he uses his little like gimbal thing and he just records it and cuts it and he makes it all fun and nice. And I'm like, oh, that's a lot of work. I'm just gonna do these things live. 
So, uh, Gabe, you gave me the inspiration for this kind of stuff. But here's your cathedral from the outside. I wish my family could be... <laughs> CK, yeah, it's, uh, we, we're in a heat wave here. It's, uh, yesterday we were in the mountains and it was 32 in the mountains in the Dolomites. With, you see all those clouds, right? Yeah, it was even less clouds yesterday. So it gets a little hot. <laughs> So I don't know if you can see, because I can't really play with my zoom when I'm doing this, but if you look on the crest, you'll see a lion with wings on there. That's a sign of St. Mark, which is a sign of Venice. So that shows that this was part of Venice, the Venetian, the Serena Repubblica back in the day. So uh, they've got that. And then you got the Piazza del Duomo, the, the Cathedral Square here. And if you look over that far side over there, that's where Rigetti is. That's where you're going to find really good cheap eats what i love about rigetti is every day they have different uh, menu items so it's not like you go oh you have to eat this at rigetti you just go to rigetti and they'll have like three maybe four pastas for you to choose from three or four meats so you can choose from you pour your own wine and at the end you're like hey i had this this and this and then you pay and it's it's really you know it shows you the people who trust each other and people you know, are good people here. And it's not like, you know, if I did something like that in the U.S., I'd expect, you know, a fair percentage of people just to walk out or not pay or, you know, be silly about it or say, yes, I had water instead of a liter of wine or something. Whereas here, they don't have that. Here, people are honest with their stuff. That's one thing I love about this town. And Jocelyn and I were like, <laughs> she's like, how can we move here? I'm like, well, if we get our blog to make like $100,000 a year, eh, then we can maybe start talking about it. But it, since it makes like, $200 a year. Uh, we got a ways to go. <laughs> oh, you're following us via Google Maps. That's cool. Yeah, so we're here. So I'm going to be going to Piazza dei Signori. So if you're looking for the Google Maps, you can see it up here. <laughs> yes, Australia is one of those places. Liam, I was talking to Liam yesterday, and he's like, I'd really like to get to Australia. I'm like, so would I. Because I was an exchange student in Australia back in like the 90s. So it's been... It's been a few decades, it's been a couple of millennia, it feels like, since I was there. So I need to, get, we need to go back. We go see my host family there, they're really nice, the rights in Timor, New South Wales. Super nice people. Show you the back side of the cathedral. It's funny, because usually you come from the center, like the Piazza Signore, so you see this first. So seeing that the facade on the front I was like, oh yeah, that's right. They actually have a really nice facade on this. But you're never walking from that way. Because if you're going to go to the train station, you're going down here and then you can left. So you kind of miss it. Looks like they're redoing the post office. Well, I don't know if that's the post office anymore. Things change over time. <laughs> I remember we were here with my dad. This is like 10 years ago. And uh, they used to have all these Wi-Fi zones around. So they'd be like, just like a street sign says Wi-Fi zone. And so he would always find them all over here in Vicenza or wherever Florence, wherever we went. He'd just sit there on his little phone and check his stocks and do his stuff. But I just remember him sitting here doing that. Decent pizza down this way over here. Let me grab one of those. Let's see. You know, just a little alley here and there. One thing about shopping here, if you're in semi-decent shape, you'll be fine. Get whatever you want. Oh, look who's here. We have Jocelyn, Liam, and Asia, our guide. Bubble, bubble tea. tea. Two bubble tea. teas and one gelato. Nice. Vanilla and yogurt. Vanilla yogurt. Cool. That's where you guys heading to. Maybe back to the apartment? Do you want to do something? I can show you the dress I might buy. You gonna go shopping, Liam? <laughs> yes. Let's take Liam to uh, to Tiger. Tiger. You yeah. Go to Tiger. Oh. Okay. We'll go to Tiger. You gonna go to Tiger? Tiger. Like this? Where is it at? Uh, down at the end oh. of Corso Palladio. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Okay, well, yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> yogurt. Yogurt tastes like um. Sour cream. Yet we're live. Oh. Say hi, Asya. Hi. There you go. 
So you will see Asia and Liam in two new videos on Liam Walter's channel. Where Liam, and well, he, we brought all kinds of American candy for Asia to try. So they did that, and then Asia got her a, got him a, um, a surprise bag, which was quite the surprise since it was all Easter stuff and it's June. <laughs> oh, it's such a fun store, though. Yeah. It's kind of like the dollar store, but not everything's a euro. Yeah. But it's fun, cheap stuff. The kids love it. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, you got we have to drink. Oh, how is Stuart? How's the Wi Fi? Or how have you been? Because I know you're traveling right now. What's up, me? A dollar store never has anything. Over 10 dollars. I one. see. So we're going to back to the Corsa Palladio side. We'll get, we'll get the Piazza di Signore. We'll get there eventually. Eventually. Also, one of the things that's it's very true is if you're off the main street, you're going down these side ones, that's where you find the good restaurants and the... Well, Vicenza is not as popular, but like if you're in Rome or Florence, be on the main path, this will be packed, but on the side roads, you'll be okay. Return from it on Sunday, great, back again. Okay, good. I'm glad you had a good time, Stuart. Good to hear. Whoa. Yes. So if our buddy Darian is watching this on a replay or whatever, we were in Bolzano which in northern Italy, which is actually used to be part of Austria. So it's very much an Austrian town, but they had spaghetti ice. And so Liam and I Gerish? had some. There's so many there. bubbles in our bubble teas. New candy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think it's just like. So there's Rigetti again. Don't worry, they didn't pay me to do this. I just really like going there. Liam and I went for there for lunch the other day. And uh, when I was actually going to school here, taking Italian classes, that was like my go-to lunch spot over there. So I do that. Yeah. And I've been with her there when she was a baby. And when she was not a baby. Mm -hmm. Abbiamo mangiato oh. in sì. Urighetti. Yeah. Molte volte. Ti piace o no? Yes. Yeah. Urighetti, is that the name of the name? Urighetti. Yeah, New York Yankees pitcher from the 80s. Dave Rigetti, I think he came here retired. Is that really it? No, that's not really it. Never know, but that's the same name. Maybe his family from here? Could be. Don't you have a lot of in America. They're not fanatic, they're American. This is our channel normal. It's another channel. Because the channel is grande and più e di più e di più quando facciamo un walk now no, watch mm -hmm. solo solo 11 oh. però dopo tre questo canale so ho mil uh, fanatico uh, sì. per l'altro otto 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 Million, almost one million. Million? Sorry, you got to hear me speak really bad Italian. But I know some of you are really just like watching walk around town, so we get to show more of the town. Here, let's move out the way here. School's out. So you're asking if things are closed, see? Just having our little lunch break. Oh no, they are open, oh cool. Oh, here you go. So when you're in Italy, look for the orario, that's the schedule. So the mornings are open from 10 to 12.30 and then the afternoons from four to seven and they're closed Sunday and Monday morning. So notice that, that's one thing I did notice. Cause you know, you're used to kind of like museums being closed on Monday when you travel around and that's quite common here. But it's actually a lot of restaurants and in smaller cities and towns, actually stores might be closed on Monday too. So that's why it's kind of like important when you get your stuff. Costa. Tiger. Dave. Tiger. Uh, Phil Tiger. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. 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 
Non posso entrare perché però io posso ficcare fuori e faccio no. questa. Andiamo. Nascosto. Questa, ok. Vediamo. Quello, quella piazza è questa, non tu sai? Uh, mm, no, no. No, ok. Nostra guida, guia, sa tutti, tutti di tua città. Our guide knows everything, including not the name of this place. The square is... <coughs> we'll just call it Piazza della Città. Yeah, that's it. We'll call it the city square. Yeah? No? Theoretically, you could get into shape here. They have a gym. I really need to get back to the gym after all my time. The last month and a half of traveling. This is the flying tiger that Liam did his thing at. No, I'm not going there. I'm going to walk down to Piazza Signore and show that and then finish off. So I'll meet you down there. I'll see you. Say bye to people. Bye. All right. Let them go. The kids have their fun. I'll show you some more of a Corso Palladio and then we'll show you the Piazza di Signore. And we will make it a day. So, yeah. Nice little walk on a day like this. Pretty little square. And a wonderful country with super nice people. Can't go wrong here in Vicenza. So I apologize if the aiming of my camera is a little off. This gimbal I have, the thing that holds it, kind of sucks. So, I need to get myself a new one of those. I do want to warn you, when you come to Italy, you're not going to find Ubers and Lyfts. You're going to be using taxis, so do pay attention and set them up beforehand. Restaurants and hotels will gladly get them for you. No problem. Oh, I thought I heard our whistle. Um, so know that, but public transport is good. But one thing I want to say is, you see these area pedonale, that's pedestrian streets. And usually when you think pedestrian street, you think, oh. It's just pedestrians on pedestrian streets. Well, the delivery trucks still go through there. The bikes go through there. The little scooters go through there. So do make sure that you are paying attention when you're walking around. Just because I've seen too many tourists and too many people getting hurt, being hit by something they didn't realize. It's kind of like at the airport when they have those um, cars driving people around, you know, and they like don't beep until the last second. Oh, man, where was that? Was that Milan? Uh, it's either Milan or Copenhagen. Like, seriously, I don't know how the, the person that was driving the thing didn't kill people because they were just like flying through. They weren't even beeping. They're just like, shoo, 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 shoo. It's pretty funny. Scary, but funny. Anyway. More fun stuff walking around. So we're in Corso Palladio. This is the main street downtown, the historic center. Now, I mean, there is like the new parts of town. There is a huge mall here you can go to. If you're looking for mall shopping, so if you're here in Italy, if you're come visiting your friends, you want to go shopping, that's a nice alternative. Uh, their calcio team, their, their soccer team, um, their games are usually on Saturdays, um, but they play 19 home games, like official home games a year, then a few other games. So you have some decent opportunities, but they don't play in the summer. So if you're here in the summer, you're probably not going to get to get a game. And if you want to get a jersey or anything like that, their shop is in the off season. Is only open on Saturdays, so we would go. We would go um, this Saturday, but we got a wedding to go to. Yes, yeah, close to 30 degrees in Prague. Oh, that's morning. That's horrible. Hey, Mark Finley, good to hear you, buddy. Yeah, my voice is a little bit better. It still is a little raw. Um, yesterday when I was in Bolzano, I only got. I mean, I f filmed some shorts and only got like the. Don't see Bolzano and eat the Bolzano films because the voice was still not all the way there. I don't know, you can still hear a little bit of it now. It's like, oh, how much phlegm can one person cough up? It's gross. I know, probably too much information, people. I'm sorry. But, yeah, see, you go off the main, you go off the main strip. Boom. Empty. Empty. And look, we're back at the cathedral. There we go. 
walk around. You know, I gotta get my steps in for the day. So Lee or uh, Jocelyn and Ozzy went shopping this morning. They were going to the store, so they had a fun time. Liam slept in till like I don't know, eleven thirty. I'm like, you lucky dog. I wish I could sleep like that. So yeah, it's one thing is doing these lives in Europe for the US is kind of tough because the time difference. You now you're doing it during the day when things is all lit up. Because doing it in the evening time could be fun, but that's when you're meeting your friends or you're going out and doing things. So we've done more of these daytime ones, which means it's like, you know, six in the morning, five in the morning, you know, whatever time it is for you, good morning. <laughs> Wherever you watch your Stuart's watching in the middle of the day. Yeah, and there's some people working, but it's just so quiet. Like, once you get off those main streets, and it's not just here. I mean, okay, Milan, no, Milan's loud everywhere, but, like, actually, even Milan was bad in some places. But, like, if you're going to Rome, or you're going to Venice, or you're going to Florence, a block or two off those main drags, it is night and day in terms of the, the amount of noise you have. So that could be important when you're looking at where you're going to stay in Italy. Though, I will say their noise ordinances for windows and stuff are pretty good so it's not usually too bad no matter where you are the problem is if there's no air conditioning and you're you know <laughs> it's 40 degrees outside it's not something that you can really do because you got to crack the windows open and you're not going to see very many fans air conditioning units have become more popular over the years but still not necessarily something you expect to find so, especially if the more affordable the accommodation, the less likely you are to have that. So, we're almost back at the Piazza Signore, where we met our friends, Jocelyn, Liam, and Asia. I don't think we'll meet them on this way back. Ooh, I'm all sweaty. It's like... 34 degrees right now, so it's like low 90s uh, for my American friends watching. So we actually usually stay like right by here, right by the Basilica. And that little ice cream place right there, that's usually kind of where we will grab some ice cream with the boys when they're here with us. And of course, there's another ice cream place, you know, in the creperie right next door. So you do have plenty of options for tasty treats when you are here. Now, one thing that's cool, oh, we got a comment. No graffiti in the city. No, not, not too much. There's some, some places, but no, it's, it's pretty good here with that. So that Basilica there, there's actually, you can go to a bar up on that second floor and there's a museum in there as well. You can go see. So this statue is, statues of Andrea Palladio. He was the really famous architect um, here that really inspired so many things. He actually made the design, the basilica that we're looking at. I don't think so. Let's let me zoom out. No, I can't zoom out, so I'm going to have to get an interesting angle for you to show you it. But this is Piazza dei Signori. It was like the Lord's, the Sir's square and then you have the Basilica of Vicenza with the Campina, the clock tower and of course you have other buildings here you can look at and enjoy the locals I guess can kind of get used to it after a while I don't know when it comes to the heat Anyway, I thought this would be a nice little fun thing to walk around and show you all some of Vicenza. If you're looking to come and watch or come here to visit, it's worth it. I mean, you can use this as a base to go places like Verona and Venice if you want. Or you can come stay here and just do stuff here or make it a day trip from Verona or 
done. It's not a big deal. Padva, if you're on the fast train, is 15 minutes away. If you're on the slow train, it's like 20. <laughs> so lots of options for you. Remember I was talking about the lion with the wings. That's a sign of that is See that? It's some buddy of buddy of ours has a place right there. If you want to get a spritz. So good times. Anyway, I just wanted to show you a little bit of Vicenza, Italy, while we're here to give you a feel for it. And so if you want to come visit, you won't be disappointed. Anyway, I'm going to sign off and wish you all the best. I hope you liked your walk around here. If you want to watch more of our walks, they're all on our Walter World Shorts channel. Uh, so we put them up on there so you can check them out. So uh, please do. Uh, we really appreciate it. And I hope you had a great time walking with us here in Vicenza. So I'll give one more pass. Oops. For the... Tink. Maybe. Maybe I'll give you one more pass. Out of the Basilica. And then we'll call it a day. Oh, Tuesdays and Thursdays they have a big market here. And, on, it's like, and then on Sundays it changes what kind of markets they have. So there's like... I think it's the first Sunday of the month. It's, uh, no, the second Sunday of the month is like the uh, flea market, which is kind of cool. One's like a like handcraft market. So there's a lot of different ones out here. But Tuesday, Thursday are more like traditional type markets you're used to seeing in Europe and stuff. So anyway, I wish you all the best. And I'll say bye from here in Vicenza, Italy.